Amy and Yo-Yo's Uncharted Adventure. In the quaint town of Brassington, we're alive with the whispers of machines and the rustling of leaves. Amy Sparks resided in a picturesque home adorned with twisting vines and bursts of vibrant blooms. Her house, nestled amidst a maze of winding cobblestone streets, stood as a lush sanctuary in the heart of the chaotic metropolis, a testament to her family's love for nature amidst the urban buzz. Amy herself was a vivacious whirlwind of energy, her spirit mirroring the colorful tapestry of life within the city. Her cascading chestnut curls framed a face that bore eyes shimmering like sunlit dewdrops, windows to a soul brimming with insatiable curiosity. Often, she embarked on daring escapades through the city's labyrinth and alleyways and hidden passages. One crisp morning, as the sun bestowed its golden touch upon Amy's enchanting garden, she stumbled upon an unexpected guest, a petite panda nestled amid the lush foliage. Its sleek, ebony fur, kissed by a shimmering sheen, framed piercing eyes that held a silent wisdom and an enigmatic mystery. Hello there, Amy chirped, her inquisitive nature instantly drawn to the unexpected visitor. What brings you to my garden? The panda regarded her with a gaze that spoke volumes, and in a language that felt both foreign and oddly familiar, it introduced itself. I am Yo-Yo, it said, its voice a mesmerizing blend of warmth and intelligence. I hail from a realm far beyond the grasp of human imagination. Amy's wonderment danced in her eyes. Another realm? That's astounding. Ah, did you hurt your paw? Yo-Yo glanced at its injured limb, a tinge of gratitude shimmering in its eyes. Yes, a minor mishap on my journey, it admitted softly. Thankfully, it's not severe. Driven by empathy, Amy swiftly fetched bandages and soothing herbs, her intrigue growing with every passing moment. As she carefully tended to Yo-Yo's injury, an unspoken bond began to weave itself between them, a bond forged from compassion and a shared yearning for adventure. You're unlike any creature I've ever met, Amy marveled, a smile gracing her lips. Then, extending a hand in friendship, she introduced herself. My name is Amy Sparks, but you can call me Amy. With the bandaging completed, Amy leaned in, her curiosity eager to unravel the mysteries. Why did you come here? You seem like you've journeyed a long way. Settling comfortably amidst the vibrant garden, Yo-Yo's conversation flowed with the city's rhythmic symphony as the backdrop. Amy, wide-eyed and eagerly awaiting, listened intently for Yo-Yo to unveil the enigma behind its unexpected presence. Well, Amy, Yo-Yo began, its voice carried like a gentle melody on the breeze. I come from a realm where mysteries unfurl, and the very fabric of existence is woven with threads of magic. My journey here was guided by an ancient calling that transcends the confines of time and space. Pausing, Yo-Yo's gaze fixated on a distant horizon, as if retracing ethereal memories. In my world, unseen forces intertwine all living beings. Something disrupted that delicate balance, sending ripples through the fabric of reality. That's when I stumbled upon a wondrous artifact, the very machine in the ruins of the ancient city. Amy's eyes sparkled with intrigue. So you use that machine to journey here? Yo-Yo nodded, a contemplative air surrounding its gaze. Indeed, the journey was not without its trials. The transition between realms is a delicate dance, and during that process, I sustained some injuries, a consequence of energy fluctuations. But fate led me to your garden, and here we find ourselves. Empathy radiated from Amy's gaze. I'm glad you found solace here. 
we'll mend those injuries and embark on this exploration together. Yo-Yo's gratitude shimmered brightly. Your kindness is a soothing balm, Amy. Together, we shall untangle the enigmas that entwine our worlds and embark on an adventure that defies the limits of imagination. In the heart of Amy's flourishing garden, amidst sprawling branches and blossoming flowers, a pact was sealed, a kinship between a curious young girl and a sagacious panda, bound to traverse realities and unveil the mysteries that intertwined them. Amy's heart fluttered with excitement. Absolutely. I'd love to explore your world, Yo-Yo. And so, amidst a whirl of curiosity and the promise of boundless adventure, Amy and Yo-Yo set forth on a journey that would transcend the confines of their world. The sun dipped below the horizon, casting an amber glow over the city. Amy and Yo-Yo stood before the enigmatic, ancient device discovered in the heart of the ruins. Its surface, adorned with intricate symbols that seemed to dance in the twilight, held the promise of unlocking realms beyond imagination. Amy's eyes, still reflecting the curiosity that ignited her spirit, gleamed with anticipation. What do you think this is, Yo-Yo? Yo-Yo, its intelligent gaze fixed upon the ancient machine, spoke in a tone that resonated with both knowledge and wonder. This, Amy, is a portal, an ancient mechanism crafted by beings long gone. It's a key to traverse the fabric of time and space, a bridge between worlds. The device hummed softly, responding to their presence like a dormant creature awakening. Amy couldn't help but feel a tingling energy in the air, a palpable connection between herself and the mysterious contraption. A gentle breeze carried the distant sounds of the city, blending with the rhythmic ticking of the machine. Yo-Yo, beside her, nodded approvingly. These symbols are a language, a code that unravels the mysteries of its operation, Yo-Yo explained, its paw gently tracing the ancient patterns. It requires a synchrony of intent, a shared curiosity between those who seek to explore the unknown. Amy, her eyes fixed on the symbols, felt a surge of excitement coursing through her veins. So, how do we activate it? Yo-Yo smiled, a glint of mischief in its wise eyes. By embracing the spirit of adventure, Amy sparks. Let your curiosity guide you. With Yo-Yo's guidance, Amy cautiously approached the device, her hand hovering over the symbols. As she focused her intent on the wonders waiting beyond, a subtle glow emanated from the machine, enveloping them in a mesmerizing dance of ethereal light. The air around them shimmered, reality itself warping as the machine responded to their shared curiosity. In an instant, the surroundings blurred, and a kaleidoscope of colors painted their vision. The hum of the ancient device crescendoed, into a melodic resonance that echoed through the ruins. When the kaleidoscopic whirlwind subsided, Amy and Yo-Yo found themselves standing in a city unlike any they had ever seen. Towering structures adorned with gleaming metals and ethereal lights stretched towards the sky, while airships sailed gracefully between floating islands. Amy's eyes widened in awe, the excitement in her heart echoing the pulsating energy of the steampunk metropolis before her. Yo-Yo, beside her, nodded approvingly. We've traversed realms, Amy, Yo-Yo said, its voice carrying a sense of accomplishment. Welcome to a world beyond imagination. Just as the two of them were looking intently at the scene in the distance, the ancient machine hummed softly behind them, as if whispering secrets of the worlds yet to be discovered. In this alien city, Amy and Yo-Yo's adventure had just begun, guided by the symbols of the ancient device and fueled by the unyielding spirit of curiosity that bound them together.
Do you like this story? In the subsequent story, Amy and Yo-Yo will encounter a powerful water monster. What will happen? See you next time.